Hello, I want to welcome everybody tonight to Firestarters. We're excited to be here in the presence of God. Um, I just pray that you open up your hearts tonight for the word that's going to come forth. Okay. I want to give an opening scripture. I want to open up with Isaiah 12, 2. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God <coughs> is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. Amen. Amen. God's word says, don't be afraid because he is your strength. Right. So we've got to hold on to God's promise. That's his word, not my word. That's God's word. Mm -hmm. um, I want to do some prayer requests right now. Um, today is a very special day. It's the day 9-11, 19 years ago. There was a lot that went on. People, you know, it, it was a really bad day and a sad day. So um, let's just lift up the families because even though it was 19 years ago, you know, they're still hurting. They still miss their loved ones. So let's just continue to lift that up. Um, today's a very special day for a lot of people, day of remembrance. So I also want to pray for these fires that are going on. There's a lot of fires right now, a lot of people being affected. Even all of us, as we walk out our doors, we see the ashes on the floor, the smell of the smoke. I know a lot of people are being affected with the smoke. Um, I know one of them, Sister Donna, we want to lift her up in prayer because yeah. she has asthma really bad and the smoke is affecting her. So let's just yeah. pray that God will clear her lungs. Um, yeah. Let's pray for the families who have lost their homes. Um, there's been some that have been lost, had lost their life. Let's continue to lift up the firefighters, all those that are out there fighting this battle. Um, so let's just you know continue to lift that up in your prayers. I want to pray for Sister Mary from our church. As you know, a lot of you know Sister Mary. That was um, Brother Art's wife, and she had a stroke. So we've got to pray. They found a blood clot in her brain. Mm -hmm. So let's just pray for Sister Mary. Um, she's gone through a lot. You know, she's lost her husband. It's been a while, but still, that's a loss to her. But let's just pray for her. Let's lift up our sister and believe for mm -hmm. God's miracle upon mm -hmm. her. Um, I also want to pray, again, continue to pray for Sister Juanita, for Brother George, for strength. Um, Sister Juanita has been healed, and we're rejoicing with her healing. Amen. But we just got to pray that her body just gets back to where it needs to be, the strength that she's endured, everything that she has. So let's just continue to believe for that healing. And also, Brother George, um, I want to pray for my daughter-in-law, Elizabeth, uh, for her mother, Esther. She's not feeling well. Um, they're just praying that it's nothing serious, but she just asked that we lift her up in prayer tonight. So we're going to believe for Esther, whatever her healing is tonight, what she's going to need, we're going to believe God's hand upon her. Um, I want to continue to pray for our pastors, for good health, for protection. Um, we're blessed to have them in our lives, and we just want to continue to lift them up. Um, I want to pray for Sister Laura, Pastor Joel, Pauline, the Bible study. Um, I want to just continue to pray for strength, unity within our church. We know that through this COVID virus, a lot of people have been affected emotionally. And we've just got to, again, you know, pastors been praying about fear, about um, being afraid, hiding in the cave. Yes. We've got to just trust God and come to the house of God because that's where you're going to find your peace. We're taking the precaution. We're having protection. So don't go and be afraid that something, you're going to catch something, because again, we're all being very careful. Um, you know, we go to the stores, we go to work if you have to. So I think being in the house of God is, you know, should be a priority at the top of our list. So I just encourage you, you know, I know it's hard. I mean, I can't speak for you, but I trust God. And, you know, I'm sure you trust God too, but just give him a chance and let him see the restoration if you do within your heart, whatever you've been You've gone through these days. It hasn't been easy. Um, let's just continue to pray for the marriages, um, yes. the home. You know, we got to pray for our children, that we're an example to our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. That's the only way that they're going to come to know the Lord is because if they're going to see us when we endure trials, when we go through situations in our lives, how do we, how do we handle them? How do we come out of them? Do we come out of them? you know, um, praising God and thanking God, you know, through the situations, or do we come out and say, why God, why did you let this happen? You know, we've just got to rejoice in all that, and all that whole, goes on within our lives. Um, I want to pray for Sister Frankie. Um, she lost her stepdad, and they're having a funeral tomorrow. So let's just pray for strength upon her family um, as they 
you know, have suffered a loss of their stepfather. So I just want to pray for strength. And, you know, any other needs that we haven't spoken, God knows. So um, let's just come in agreement right now. Let's believe for the miracles and for whatever we're lifting up tonight. Father, we just come to you right now, yes, God, Lord. and we thank you, first of all, God, oh, for who you are in our lives, Father God. We pray, Father, for your strength, Father, for your anointing, God. I pray, Father God, right now, Lord, for those, Father God, who have suffered, Father, the loss through the 9-11, God. We know it's been 19 years, God, but, Lord, the pain is still there, Father God. But, Lord, let them just trust in you, Father, and believe for healing within their hearts, my God. I pray against these fires, Father God, these tragedies, Father God, that have come upon the land, my God. I pray, God, Father, for Lord, for those who have lost homes, God, and those who have lost loved ones, we pray for those who are fighting the fires, God, that you just give them the strength that they need, Father. I pray, Father God, for Sister Mary, Lord. We believe for miracles upon her, Father God. For the stroke Touch that has come body. upon her body, God, Healing I pray body. right now, God, against any oh, blood clots that, that would try to come right and, and pass within her, her heart or within her, oh, her brain, Father God. We pray against that, Lord. I pray, Father God, continue to lift up Sister Juanita and Brother George, Father, her continued strength, Father, upon their bodies, Lord. We pray for our pastors, Father God. I pray that you your hedge of protection upon them, God, for good health, Father God, for prosperity, Father. I pray, Father God, for Sister Laura, Father, for Pastor Joe, Father, for for Pauline and, and the family, my God, and Martha, Lord, we pray for protection upon them, Father, for strength, for good health, Lord. I pray, Father God, against this virus, Father, for those that have been affected, Father. Let us not walk in fear, Father God, but let us know that we are victorious, Father God, because, Lord, with you by our side, Father God, we can do all things, Lord. And I pray right now for Sister Donna, Father God. I pray for her lungs, Father, that, Lord, help her through this time, Father God, as we know that there's so many people that are struggling, Father God, to breathe clearly, Father, from the smoke, Lord. I just pray right now, God, your hand, Father, to be upon each of us this night for the Bible studies, Father, for the leaders that will preach your word, Father God. We pray for the homes, my God, for the married couples, Lord. We know, Father, that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy, Father, but we are victorious, Father God. As long as we serve you, Father, and trust in you, God, in all that we do, Father, we give no way to the enemy, God, because, Lord, we know that we serve a mighty God. We love you, Lord, and we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus and the house of God said, Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Well, I want to do announcements tonight. Um, today is the 11th, and tomorrow morning we have prayer at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, we have service on the 13th at 9.30. 9 o'clock, come and pray with us, and at 9.30 we start the worship. And again, we're using precautions, so just know that you will be safe when you come. Yes. Um, on Wednesday the 16th, we're having our midweek service. That starts at 7 o'clock, and 6.30 is prayer. So again, come and get a hold of God and start it off the right way. Um, and on the 18th, we have fire starters again at 7.30, and prayer at 8 o'clock on the 19th, and that's as far as I'll go. So we have... We're already at the 11th, almost halfway through the month. That's a little crazy. Fast. Lose track of the days these yeah, days. Um, okay, now I want to lift up the offering. So it's going to be Hebrews 13, 16. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Mm-hmm. And I know <coughs> right now a lot of people are struggling <laughs> financially, but we just have to believe that God is pleased when we sacrifice, <coughs> excuse me, and we give to him what belongs to him. So if you want to give tonight, you can dial it to glory, number two, Jesus, 77 at yahoo.com, and put on there what it's for, if it's for your tithing, if it's for an offering, um, just go ahead and put so that way you can get the credit for whatever it's for. Um, so let's pray over the offering right now. Father, we just come to you this day, Father, yes, and Father, and we pray, my God, that your hand be upon this offering, Father, that you will multiply it, Father God, and bless those that give, Father, and those that cannot give, Father, we believe that you will make a way, Father God. We pray this night, Father God, your anointing, Father, upon each and every Bible study, Father God, and 
Lord, upon the givers, Father God. We love you, Lord, and we thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, and the house of God said, Amen. Amen. Well, tonight I want to welcome Pastor Joe. He's going to give the word tonight, so tear it up, Pastor Joe. Amen. <laughs> All right. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, praise God for another Friday night. Amen. It's good to be here today. Glory to God. Thank you, uh, Brother Jesse and Sister Anna for inviting me to come in today. Glory to God. And yes. We're just going to trust God, amen, with the word today. Uh, we know that uh, we know that uh, yeah, we bring forth the word. We I just yes. believe that people are hearing That's right. and, uh, and receiving. Glory to God. So prepare your heart. Prepare yourself to, to, to receive from God today. Amen. amen. Even if you hear one word from God, it'll take you a long way, amen? So uh, just be ready. Uh, uh, the title of the message that we have today is uh, The Lies the Devil Wants You to Believe. Oh, yeah. The Lies the Devil Wants You to Believe. And so let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just yes. come before you, Father God, and I ask you, Father God, to anoint this vessel, Father God, in the name, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Father God, that's and as I study to show myself yeah. approved, Father God, the word will come forth under the unction and anointing of the Holy Spirit, Father God. I thank you for everybody online, Father God. I pray that they're hearing, Father God. Yes. We see from you this evening, Father God. We thank you and praise you, give you all glory and honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Glory to God. Our text today, amen, uh, for this teaching is, is out of the book of Acts. And that's a... Uh, Book of Acts, chapter 5, 1 to, 1 to 5, amen? And this is the Acts of the Holy Spirit, glory to God. Not the Acts of the Apostles, but the Acts of the Holy Spirit, That's right. amen? And it says, it says, uh, But a certain man named Ananias, with the fire of his wife, sold a possession, and he kept back part of the proceeds. His wife also being aware of it, and brought a, 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 uh, a certain part, and they did at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan uh, 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 filled your heart, filled your heart uh, to lie to the Holy Spirit and keep back part of the, a part of the price of the land of your, for yourself? But it remained, was it not yours, your own? And after it was sold, was it not in, in your own control? Why have you why have you conceived this thing in your heart? You have not lied to to men, but to God. Then Ananias, uh, uh, hearing these words, fell down and breathed his last. So, so, so great fear came upon all those that, that were there. And then it says, I want to say, is a question that I, I have for you today. It says, uh, uh, have you have you ever believed a lie? Have you ever believed a lie? And, and uh, it says, uh, I sure have. And many others have. Uh, sometimes we allow ourselves to be deceived by those who are who have no problem by 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 lying straight to our face. You know, you find somebody that may they'll, they'll lie to you and they have no problem with it. And sometimes we believe it, you know. But but today we're gonna we're gonna wise up today. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Think of, think about the the great uh, deception that occurred. In, in time past, and this is the story that we're gonna read right here. This is uh, one story that comes to my mind was the legend of the, of the Trojan horse. So no one could defeat the city of Troy until the Greeks came up with a deceptive plan. They made a, a huge wooden horse and filled it with men and left the, the people and left it at the at the people at the gate of Troy, and they left it as a gift. They took it in, in, in their gauge, and that night the men the, the men came out of the uh, came out and killed the guard and opened the gates for the rest of the men to come in and destroy destroy the city of Troy. So sometimes you know they, they, they give you they give you a gift, but sometimes you know that gift is not is not is not really good. You know, uh, I remember when uh, when uh, uh, when people used to. Uh, be in the home and they would they would get they would they get born again and everything and, and then they would they would go get a job and, 
Man, they were happy, you know. They, oh, they got a part-time job, and by the time you know, oh, they got three part-time jobs, you know. <laughs> and by the time you know, they, they were working eight, 16 hours a day, wow. and they couldn't make it to church. That was a lie. That was a lie from the enemy. They would say, oh, God is blessing me, God is blessing me. No, you got, you got to use wisdom. So, so a lot of times, you know, blessings can, 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 be a, can be a lie, you know. But sure. friends will come over, you know, to the house, Friends or family would come over to the house on a Friday and on a Sunday morning. You know, oh, I can't go to church because I'm, my family came over. You know, that's a lie that I, that, 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 that they will, you know, bring people around to you all, all the time. So we got to be careful, you know, because the enemy has, has a, he, he has everything set up to try to destroy us. Amen. He's right. there, he's there to, to try to destroy, but it's up to us to be, to be uh, very, uh, very alert. Amen. How about you? How many times have you? How many times have you lied? Don't tell me, okay? <laughs> Sometimes we find ourselves in a situation where we, where we, where we find it much easier to tell a little white lie, as we like to call it, or, 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 or instead of telling the truth. Of course, we know that the Bible teaches that we should not lie. Right. And in and John eight forty four, he he says it says um. You are your father, the devil, and the and the lot and the lust of the father you will do. He was a he was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there was no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of all lies. So you know that we we are telling you right there that that the devil is a liar. You know, That's right. you know, and and when you hear things coming at you that that are against God or against your morals. If you have any, any had to bring it in, you know, or, or, or against what you think, against what you think, don't look around everybody. You, know, uh, you, you gotta, you gotta be watchful, and, and you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta be heavy ears open, amen. But I want to share, I want to share a, a, a seven, seven lies that the devil uh, uh, wants us to believe. Right. There's, more, there's, there's more of them, but I didn't want to share seven of them today. And some of them you you already know what they are, but it's gonna help you. It's gonna help you uh, uh, <clears throat> bring it bring it more uh, more more what you say more revelation to you. Amen. Right. The first one is the word of God is not true. That's the first thing the devil likes to tell you, likes to lie to you. The devil used that that lie starting in, in, with Adam and Eve. They were the first one he used it on. It says in Genesis chapter three, verse one. It says, now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said to the, to the woman, had God indeed said, you shall, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman told the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat of it, mm. nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. For God knows that in the day that, that you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. That's, right. That's the biggest lie there is because right. you know, you know, we know here that you know, he, he said he said that he says here that, that, that you will be like God. You will be like God knowing good and evil. God evil is sin. Amen. And God doesn't know sin. He right. sees it, but he doesn't know it. So he lied, the devil lied to him. He says, "Yeah, God, God knows all these things." He says. But, 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 but right away they, they went for the fried ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> fried ice cream. Yeah. Eve, of course, fell for the, fell, uh, fell for it. And there are many people today. There are many people today that that, that have believed in the same lie, as well. But think, think about how. How powerful that is. If the word of God, if the word of God is not true, then then there will be no need for, for us to follow God at any at any time, you know. If it wasn't true, why should we follow God? Why should we stop doing what we used to do before, you know? Go out and party and everything. Why? You know? Yeah. But but because it's true, that's what changed our life. Right. We had revelation that God that God is true, that God is real. 
Amen. That's why we don't do what we used to do. That's we right. better not, but we don't do what we used to do because because the word of God is true. Right. So the devil was even when even when people that are born again, the devil still wants to come and tell to them, you know what? You can do this, you can do that, it's okay. God, God is gonna, he's not gonna look at you. Tell me some more. <laughs> <laughs> the devil always holds up. The devil always holds part of part of the truth. He has he has you where he wants you if you don't know the truth. I mean, if he doesn't tell you, if, if you believe what he's saying and he holds back part of the truth, then he has you because you're not believing, because you're believing the lie. There's a, <clears throat> it says here, he doesn't mind if people call the Bible a book, a book of love, as long as, as, long as he can convince people that the Word of God has, one, has, has some good parts and some, evil, and some bad parts. The devil has been very successful in, 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 in his life because many people in the world, including, some, including people that go to church, no longer re respect the, the, the respect the word of God or His authority, and we see that right now. Yeah. You see right now what's happening. People are are being lied to. You look out in the street. You look at TV. You know what what they're doing. They're they're, they're tearing down uh, monuments. They're doing they're, they're stealing. They're, they're and doing doing all all kinds of things. And there's some people that are Christians really believe in that also. You know right. they believe it's okay to go get things. Well, that's what the devil has people, has people, he lies to them, and they're believing this lie. Right. You see people using God's name in vain. Mm. And many, and many make fun of the Christian lifestyle. Yeah. You know, that's why you, you that's why you see a lot of teenagers that, that don't want to come to the Lord, because they don't want to be laughed at, you know. They, right. that, that devil lies to them all, you, you go to church and, you're, and they're going to hang out with you, it, it, just, just things like that, you know. But that's the way the that's the way the enemy works. Yeah, that's right. Many are teaching us to kill unborn babies and call it uh, a woman's choice. Can you imagine that? How, even even now it's getting worse and worse and worse. You know, with through, through abortion and all that. Right. It says others are teaching that that we that we need to change out. We need, we need to change our understanding of what the Bible say, teaches about homosexuality and certain alternative lifestyles, you know? <clears throat> now it's okay when you, even on TV, you see people hugging each other, they're the same sex, and everybody, you know, they don't care anymore, yeah. you know? Because they, 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 it's, it's, it's supposed to be accepted, mm -hmm. but the Bible says that, that it's wrong, it's a sin. That's right. Not God doesn't hate the person, but He hates the sin. That's right. You know, yeah. and a lot of people get mixed up by yeah, God doesn't hate me. No, He doesn't hate you, but He hates what you're doing. Yeah. You know, sin is sin, but no matter what. Yeah. But the devil has everybody uh, believing that that it's okay. Yeah. Many say that the Bible is wrong when when it comes to raising our children. They say you may you should not discipline your children. That's the biggest lie there is. And I say I thank God. <clears throat> That my dad disciplined us. I thank God that he would get that belt, whatever it was, and boy, he tanned our hides. That's why I'm so proud. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes he would get a whip from the street, and he'd take the whip and just he'd just clean all the bark up, and then you could hear him going, and he, and he whip us with that. But I think, you know, he, even though I didn't like it, but I look back now, it, it stopped me from doing a lot of things, you know. So I thank God for, for discipline. I, don't spare the belt, according to the word. <laughs> the second thing that the devil lies about, God will make an exception in your case. You can sin. It's okay. God will make an exception. That's what he says. He says the devil tells us that God will make an exception. The devil whispers in many people of God today, well, it's okay to go back or to look back. After all, he will forgive you. He will, he will make an exception for you today. It's all right to, uh, uh, to, to, to pray Russian roulette, you know? It's okay to pray Russian, you know? It's okay to lie, it's okay to stay home, you know? It's okay to gamble, you know? It's like, it's like, it's like roll the dice, you know? And, and if you go to church today, we won. And if I don't, you know, that, that's what it is, you know? I remember when we were kids, we used to, we used to roll the dice, play dice, and 
Ah, I never drove from Kokomo, you know, <laughs> or, or, or Snake Eyes, you know. But that we were gambling. We were gambling, and and it's that same thing in the Christian walk now. Only you don't roll the dice. You your mind says, ah, I don't have to go to church today. It's okay. I'm gonna stay home. I'm too tired. I'm weak. I'm whatever it is. Whatever excuse the devil puts in your mind, you begin to believe it. Right. In Genesis chapter 19, verse 26, it says, But Lot's wife looked back, and she became a pillar of salt. No. She became a salt shaker because she looked back. <laughs> she, looked, she looked back, you know, because, because she looked back into the world. And many Christians right. are doing that. I, uh, <clears throat> a long time ago, when we got our church, we had a, a, a brother in the church, and, and, and uh, and the Lord spoke to me and told him to tell the brother to he better repent or things are going to happen to him. Yeah. You know? And so I, I told him, you know, I told him, you know what? The Lord told me to tell you, you better repent because things are going to happen and, and, you're, and you're going to lose everything you have. That's right. Well, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, uh, he, he didn't take heed. I told him, the Lord told me to tell you that. He didn't take heed. <clears throat> well, in a few months, his wife and him divorced. They lost the house. They were divorced, <coughs> and uh, and uh, he, he lost his job. He had a good company. He lost, it. He lo he lost everything, and later on he died. Of, uh, he died of, 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 of dope, you think before, wow. because because and he was doing good. They were there. The family was strong, but they started going a different direction. Mm -hmm. He started hearing the 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 the, 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 the lies of the devil. Mm -hmm. That it's okay. You can do this, and you can do that. You can look back into the world. Joshua 7, 21 says, <coughs> H, H N coveted the merchandise that God told the people not, not to touch, and he took it, he took it to his house or, his, or the tent and destroyed his, his, his home and his family. He felt lucky. In other words, in other words, they, 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 uh, they, they conquered the city, and God said, don't take anything with you. You leave it there, but Achan got some, got, got some of the gold, silver, whatever it was. He took it to his house, and he hid it. When, 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 when he was exposed of it, he was exposed of it, and Moses says, okay, you did all that. Now the, the Lord told him, take Achan and his wife and his children and his donkey and his cattle, and everything he has, take them out to the city and stone them all. Stone them and then burn them. Why? Because they disobeyed God. That's right. You know, that probably wouldn't happen now today, you know, but there's consequences. That's right. When we do things wrong, there's a consequence. But, you know, it might be maybe something small, but yet it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt us. Right. So it's important that that uh <clears throat> that uh, we don't take uh we don't believe the lie of the devil saying that it's okay. Uh, we don't have to uh, do things, we don't have to uh <clears throat> we we can sin once in a while. God is not going to make an exception for you. He's not going to. He's not going to cover his eyes. And say, it's okay, people. You, you go ahead and, and go fornicate, do whatever you want, or, or go take, go take a heroin, do whatever you want. It's a, no, uh, God is not like that. It says in Matthew chapter seven, verse twenty-one. It says, Jesus is saying, "Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven." But he who does the will of the Father, of my Father in heaven, many will say to me in that day, in that day, Lord, Lord, have I not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then he said, then I will declare unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Yes. So, you know, <clears throat> at that time, you know, People would tell you, e e even they go to church. No, I don't go today. It's okay. And by the time you know, by the time you know, you're not going two or three, two or three Sundays at a time. Sure. The other one, the other, uh, the other uh, lie that the devil tells you, which tells us, you really don't need to go to church. You really don't need to go to church anymore. Yeah. For all the time. I, I, I see. I see in church today. I see in in, in our church today uh, a lot of a lot of empty seats, 
a, a lot of empty seats. And I wonder sometimes when I see everybody, everybody's afraid of that, 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 that COVID. You know? They're afraid of that, 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 that plague. And you see a lot of empty seats, and I say to myself, I wonder if all these people that are staying home, I wonder if they're saying, oh, thank you, Jesus, for the, for the plague. I can stay home. <laughs> <laughs> They're not coming to church. Yeah. It, 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 and we announce it every every, every time. It's safe. You know, it's safe. You, you can, and, and, and and so you know you wonder because because they can use an excuse. You know? That's right. It's always it, 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 once you start using an excuse over and over again, it becomes real. That's right. It, it becomes it becomes the, the, the norm. Yeah, I can I can I can like I can like I don't know. Pastor's okay. He doesn't need me. <laughs> Hallelujah. The devil might say something like, like this to many uh, in the world. You don't need to go. You don't need to go to church every day. Well, you don't need to go to church every, day, every every once in a while. Only for Christmas. Yeah, Christmas okay. Easter. That will be enough for a while. You don't go to church. There's too many hypocrites in there. <laughs> And you should tell them, yeah, you go, you're going to be the gift because you're going to be in there. You know? And, and that, 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 that's some of the things that they, that, that they, uh, it says here, you, you can watch it on live stream. You know, you can watch it live, you can watch it live, now, now, it's, now, it's, now it's easy. You know, you know what the word, we know what the word stream means? It means flow. Or flow in and out. You go in, you say, what, live stream, I'm here. Come back out. You go someplace. Yeah, that's what live stream means. You come in. You check in. Hi, we're here. And then you check out. You go someplace else. And then brother just asked me, "What happened?" Oh, I forgot. I, I was there. Did you see this part? Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't say that. You see, you see, you see, you see. The devil likes to lie. That's right. And if we're not aware, if we're not, we're not, you know, in tune to the word of God, and we're not. Uh, uh, able to to discern, you know, or 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 um, not even discernment. We we had to know by now that when the devil was lying to us. Wow. He says that he knows that the Bible tells us that in sec in the First Corinthians chapter twelve that the church is like a body, and and that it, it, need, it needs a, and it needs every part of, of the, to function properly. And if he can remove you from the body, it will hurt you and it will hurt the body also. He knows that. He knows that if he can move people out, you know, especially with leaders, especially with people that are, that are, that are around pastors where he needs the leaders, and if a leader is missing for some reason or other, it affects him. He knows who's there. Like I said, I can, I can see, I can see, I can see. <laughs> and, 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 so he knows who's there, you know. And so, the devil would like to use that That's right. to hold people back, especially in leadership, to hold them back to try to weaken the pastor. But he, he cannot be weakened. That's right. He cannot be weakened. And that's the way the enemy the enemy works. It says here now. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. It says, but the kingdom. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all those things shall be added unto you. Matthew 10, 37 says, He who loves father and mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loves son and daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves, and he who, would, and he who does not the will of, 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 he who would not carry his cross is not worthy of me. And you know, when I first came to church, I used to wonder about that that scripture. You know, man, he's, God is telling me if, if if I love my mother more than Him, I'm not worthy of it. And, he, and, and I had a hard time dealing with that, you know, and and I couldn't understand it. But as I as I grew in the things of God, I began to realize, yeah, God is a jealous God, and and, and we have, we need to love Him more than anything else, more than ourselves, That's right. more than ourselves, and you know, and so. I started believing, and I, I believe in it, that it was, it was, it was something that, that I had to give up for myself. Now, 
my wife loves God more than me. Amen. You know? And, and I didn't like it when I first, when, when she first got born again. I didn't like it. We were still married. And she, before we got divorced, we were still married. And, 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 and she was born again. And I, I try to I try to get her mad or do things like that. And she'd be sitting there. She'd be sitting in the chair with her Bible, just rubbing the Bible and crying over it, you know. And she says, Jesus is my lover. He is my lover. I wanted to punch that guy in the face, but I, I didn't know where he was at, you know. I, I was mad because there was something that, that, that took her away from me. That I couldn't touch, but I wanted to get, and, and I didn't want it. But praise God, three months, three years later, I got bored again, Amen. because because she loved God more than me. Amen. Now, I learned from that because later on, when she got born again, her brother used to come around, and he didn't like her telling him about the Lord, and she thought he thought she was crazy, that's crazy, Hallelujah, and all that, you know. He had he had her mom and dad believing that she was loony, you know, okay. that because of that because that they wanted to put her in a in a, a, in a institutions. Yeah, they wanted to, they wanted to put her away, you know. He had them convinced, wow. but because she loved the, the Lord more than them, more than them. One day, my brother-in-law came in, I guess, to the house and to have a cup of coffee, and over that coffee, he got born again. <laughs> Later on, her dad and mom got born again. Amen. Hardcore Catholics wanted to put her away. Now, now, <laughs> now, 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 now they got born again. Amen. Why? Because the Bible says, if you love your dad and mom more than me, you're not worthy. Of it. And she got a hold of it. That's why we're here today. Amen. That's why a lot of us are here today. Amen. How many of our How many of our families have told us, "Ah, don't go there, don't go there." That's right. Stay with us for a while. No, it's because it's because the Lord, it's because the Lord is it, the one that. I, <clears throat> That, 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 we're born in love with, with, with the Father than with, with ourselves or, or our family, glory. And I'm glad that, I'm glad that my wife stood her ground, you know, on that. Amen. But I learned from that, glory to God. Amen. Hebrews, uh, it says, uh, okay, I'm sorry, uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2, it says, on that, on that, on that first day of the, of the week, let each of you uh, lay up something, something aside, store, in, uh, store it up, and, and as, as you may prosper. In other words, he's talking about collection. He's talking about praise. In other words, the first day of the week, we need to go. We need to bring our tithes and offerings into the church. But the devil does not want you to go to church on Sunday because he doesn't want to bring you. He doesn't want you to bring your tithes. Right. He doesn't want you. He, he doesn't want you to, to, to pay your tithe. He doesn't want you to, to give uh, food, uh, uh, money to the, to the church. That's right. You know that that how would I say the tithes and offerings. You know, right. you know that's important. Not only for not only for the for the for the for the for the for the, for the building. Not only for the lights and all that, but we have we have missionaries, you know, in in, 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 in other countries. We got missionaries, and you know that that, that 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 the church supports, and with that money that that that, that we get, they it goes to the missionaries. And I know that I know that I know that Pastor Raymond. I mean, he has he has churches that he's that he has sent out before, or he has sent out, you know. And I know that before that, when he sends them out, he supports those churches for, for a while. We got, he has a church in, in, in Wichita, Kansas, a church in um, Hacienda Heights, a church in East L.A., and one in Baldwin Park, one in Moreno Valley, one in Oxnard, Santa Paula, and one, one in Belo. So if we don't bring our money into the church sometimes, he can't send people out. How can he send somebody out if there's not enough money to send them out? There's men and women there in the church right now that are ready, that are ready to be sent out. But he knows when he, and God hasn't spoken to him. But if we have, but we, but it's up to us to come in every Sunday and every time that door is open and bring our finances in, not only for the, for, 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 for the, to send people out, but the pastor's house also. God said that, that, that a labor is worthy of his, uh, 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 of his, of his income. The devil is sneaky. Yes, 
It is. First Peter 5 8 says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks around as a, as a roaring lion, seeking whom he devoured. Mm. But the Bible says, But but I have come to give you life and more and life more abundantly, glory right. to God. Second Corinthians eleven fourteen and fifteen, for Satan himself transformed himself into a into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing that his ministers also transform themselves into into ministers of, of, of righteousness. In other words, in other words, what he's saying is that, that there's men out there, men 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 out there right now that are that are preaching the word of God that the enemy is using them, amen, to, to come against to come against God, to come against. Right. So he, he, that's the way he works. And you, this is why you find so many people that say, "Well, I, I don't trust you, Christians. I don't trust them because of what other people have done and, and, and how, the message that they've done." The fourth one is there isn't going to be a judgment day. That's a lie. There isn't going to be a judgment day. He's not coming back. So that means that. There is no judgment. No, no, no judgment day. There is nothing to fear. So live your life for yourself. You know. I I said this one time a long time ago. I said I said I used to, I used to believe that. You know. I said well, if God comes, when he comes, when when he comes, I'm gonna repent right away. <laughs> I'm gonna repent right away. Who does he come? I'm gonna repent. And one day I was walking. And I fell flat on my face, and, and by the time, I couldn't even say a cuss word. But when they hit the ground, I, I couldn't say nothing. But before I got born again, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but you see, it, that, 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 that lie that, that, that they will have me believing that, yeah, when he comes and you hear, and hear the noise, oh, okay, Lord, I'm coming. And that, that, that's what the devil is trying to hide people. There's no judgment day. What? Right? Look at the word of God says in First Peter <clears throat> Second Peter chapter three verse three to four. Knowing this first, that scoffers will come in the last day, walking according to their own lust, and saying, "Where where is the promise of his coming? For 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 there for for since for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning." In other words, what they're saying. You know, they're, they're talking about, okay, look, look, Jesus died a thousand years ago. So, he's not coming, no. It's a big lie, you know. It's a big lie, and it's been already, people say, <laughs> my father, now, before he got born again, he used to say, de lo mismo de llegar y lo mismo de pasar. And they, in other words, it says, <laughs> the lie was, it, it was not, Life will not reach 2,000, nor it won't pass 2,000. That's why everybody's all scared when 2,000 came around. Oh, the world's coming to an end, the world's coming to an end. Because that was the lie they had. Yes. And they were still here, glory to God. Amen. Praise God. But, but you see, but, but that was the lie that they had before. People were saying, people say, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess up until 2,000, and I'm going to ask that for forgiveness, you know. <laughs> but, but that was the biggest lie they had, and it's, and it's still, and the, and the devil is still lying to people today. Sure. Paul responds to this lie of the devil in and first Peter, second Peter five ten he says, For 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 for, for this they, they willfully forget that the word of God they, they willfully forget that by the word of God heavens heaven were of old, and the earth standing out of water and in the water, by which the word that then existed, perished, being flooded by water. In other words, in other words, there was earth, but then the flood came in. It was there, but then the flood came in, and, and it wasn't there anymore. So that's what he's saying here. He says, but, but the heavens, look at, but the heavens and the earth, which are now, which are now uh, exist, which, which, which are now preserved by the same by the same word are received for for, for, for are, re, are reserved for the fire until the day of judgment and perdition 
of, of ungodly man. In other words, in other words, all that he's saying that everything that we see right now, the heavens and the earth, it's been preserved until the day of perdition. Then all that's going to pass away. Heaven and earth is going to pass away. And that's what they're saying. Right. But they're saying, but if we don't believe the word, we're going to keep on saying, no, there's no judgment. Mm. We're going to believe the word. We're, we're going to uh, believe the, the lies of the devil. And, and they're going to say, oh, there's no judgment. And many people are out there saying, you know what? There's no judgment. That's why they don't want to come to the Lord. Because they haven't got revelation of it yet. That's right. But beloved, do not forget this one thing. That with the Lord, one day is a thousand years. And a thousand years is one day. Can you imagine? One day to God is a, is a thousand years. And a thousand years to God is one day. So, he was crucified, what, 2,000 years ago? It was the word 2020? So to him, it's only been two days and two hours. That's all, you know. It's only three, and to us, it's been a long time. But to God is nothing. Yeah. So, so we're we're saying no, it's okay. God's not coming. Yes, He is. It says here, the Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some count slackness, but is long suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish. You know, and that, that, that's why He's that, that's why He hasn't come around yet. He's He's the one. Jesus is the one that, that, that interceding for us and telling the Father, "No, not yet." No, not yet, Father. They haven't received the Lord yet. Pastor Joseph's kids aren't unborn again yet. Some of them are, some of them are. So that, so, but, but he's not, but, but he's holding back because he doesn't want nobody to perish. Right. But that all should come to the to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise. And the elements will, will melt with fervent heat, but the earth and its works that are in there will be, will be burned up. It's coming. He's coming. James tells us, he says, Therefore be patient, my brethren, until the coming of the Lord. See how, see how the, 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 the farmer waits. For the precious fruits of the earth, waiting patiently for, for it until it receives that, that early and later rain. You also be patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord is at hand. You know that uh, he talks about he talks about farmers, how, how patient they are. And I remember when my daddy used to go out and, and sow seeds, you know. And in one time <clears throat> He uh, sold uh, watermelon seeds, and uh, and he he go out there every 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 week and every day and water do whatever, whatever it was. And I just saw dirt. That's all I saw was dirt, <laughs> you know. And he's been there all oh, Caribbean, Mexican, Mexican, Spanish, and Puerto Rican, and everything, you know. <laughs> and he would, you know, and then yeah. and then uh, one day, one day I saw a little thing that got sticking up in the ground. And I looked at it. And said, hey, it looks like a plant, you know. So I went and got my finger and went and kissed to it. And I dug it out. And it was the plank, the, the, the seed was still hooked onto it. Wow. And I go, oh my God, you know. That thing was growing in there, but I, I aborted it. I, I took out, I took out, and, and, and see, my dad knew when to wait, you know. He knew when to wait. I, I wanted to see, I wanted to see, I wanted to see more of it. But, but you see, it's the same thing like with abortion. People are, 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 see the baby in this, but then they, and they're aborting it, but they don't know that. See the baby still hooked, hooked onto the mother, you know. And 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 so, so we need to be patient. God is coming, He's coming, and we need we need to be patient, and we need to wait on the Lord. There will be a judgment day. It will be when God decides. When that day can come, and be only not even Jesus knows, right. only God knows. All the devil's lies cannot change the reality that there will be a judgment day, no matter what he lies, mm. no matter what he says. There is a judgment day. Right. He lies, he lies, and he knows it. It's coming. 
he knows that his days are getting shorter and shorter. And number five, it says, uh, you have plenty of time. Yeah. You got plenty of time. Says that. The devil had a meeting in hell on how to deceive the people. One demon said, let us tell them that the Bible is not true. The devil replied, that will work, but only for a, only for a certain point. The second demon said, let us tell them that Jesus is not Lord. The devil re replied, that would only work for a certain time. An, old, an, an older demon suggested, let us say that, that the Bible is the word of God and Jesus is Lord, but let us convince the people that, that they have all the time in the world to obey him. And they would love that idea. That's it. We'll tell them that. You have all the time in the world. That's the biggest lie there is right now. That's right. You know, People would tell me I, before I needed the door, no, I got that time, I got that time. I didn't get born again until I was 40. I thank God that I did because I, I never would have made it to my 45th birthday. So I thank God that 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 uh, that that that, uh, that for, 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 uh, for forgiveness, I, I thank God that that, uh, that we were able to repent, glory to God, and I didn't wait anymore. Right. Second, Second Corinthians 6 says, Behold, now is the accepted Time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Praise God that, that that we know the lies of the devil. We know how he lies. But we know that we know that glory to God that, that there is a day the Lord is coming and we gotta be right. prepared for it. Amen. Right. Amen. I just want to pray this. Anybody out there that maybe you don't know Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of your life and you're saying, you know what, I wanna make it to heaven. I don't wanna stay behind. I don't wanna wait anymore. I don't want to believe the devil's lies anymore. And you're not sure today, if you were to die tonight, what would you wake up tomorrow morning? I'm saying this today. If you want to ask Jesus Christ into your life, maybe you backslid. Maybe you, you went back, you looked back like, 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 a, like, like a, the woman that got into a salt shaker. You know, you might look back into the world again. That's right. Today's the day that you could, that, that, that God, you know, let the Lord into your heart. Ask Him to uh, to forgive you. Sure. Say this prayer with me, Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that waiting for me this long, Father God. I confess my sins, Father God. I believe that Jesus is your Son. I repent of all my sins, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and I ask you, Jesus, to come into my life. Make me a new man, make me a new person, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for salvation. I thank you for my new life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.